The approach of Mars in winter has triggered dusty skies and meager solar input for Ingenuity, forcing it to ration power. Without overnight heating, the brutal cold killed an orientation sensor, but Flight 29 was tried anyway on this episode of Mars Guy. In April of 2021, Ingenuity completed its primary mission, proving that a helicopter could fly in the thin Martian atmosphere. The bonus flights since then proved that a Mars helicopter can scope out terrain and spacecraft hardware for scientists and engineers on Earth. Now Ingenuity has to overcome failing hardware and catch up to the Perseverance rover before it drives out of radio communication range. Its 29th flight on Sol 465 covered 179 meters in 67 seconds at a height of 10 meters. Here's the first few frames of that takeoff. Notice how Ingenuity's shadow is well off to the side, not underneath like during the typical noontime flights. That's because this flight was at about 3.30 p.m., the latest one yet, probably because it needed extra daylight to fully charge its batteries. The takeoff appears nice and stable despite the failed inclinometer, which is used to initialize the navigation algorithms prior to takeoff. The inertial measurement unit was used instead, even though it wasn't designed for static measurements like the inclinometer. Here's the first color view, looking back toward the protruding finger of the ancient delta, more than 1,500 meters away, and the more distant delta remnants, more than 4 kilometers away. Here's how that looks from orbit with the protruding finger and delta remnants. Ingenuity flew over the first of two linear troughs, which are ancient fractures in the igneous rocks covering the crater floor. The second color view captured a similar scene as the first. The next segment includes a reminder that this landscape is on Mars, a small, heavily eroded crater, which was nicely captured in the color view. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The second of the linear fractures is below in this view, and here's how they look in the orbital view. A few small sand ripples appear in the next flight segment, one of which is in the color view, a reminder that Mars is a desert world with blowing sand. The home stretch, unfortunately, is pretty bland, offering no noteworthy landforms, including the final color view. But this blandness is a good thing for a little helicopter looking for a safe place to land. There are a few images from the landing sequence, but it appears that some have yet to be downlinked, leaving Ingenuity hanging in the air. But we know it landed safely because none of these images would have been downlinked if there was uh, a crash landing. This latest flight shows that even with a failed sensor and extremely challenging power conditions, Ingenuity likely can continue to close the gap with Perseverance and then maybe even start scouting the Delta deposit.